Dr. Watala, thank you very much for your time this Saturday morning. So, as we've just mentioned there, we saw a shutting down of the internet, of social media. We saw a response from uh, current President Edgar Lungu uh, to violence in some areas, and uh, some analysts have been worried that he's going to use that violence as a means of questioning uh, the election results when they are released. Um, early election uh, results so far released, and I must say here qualify that uh, very few results have been released, but those results uh, putting opposition leader um, Yichima Hakilenda in, in the lead there. What, is the, what are the tensions on the ground? What are the biggest fears as we, as we lead up to the, the releasing of these results? Yeah, well, there's, as always, there's quite an uncertainty when communication is cut. Then, obviously, uh, people start worrying about what is going on in the background. Uh, but uh, as you've already said, I think some kind of context here is, is really required. Uh, I think towards elections, uh, the PF government uh, has actually rolled out a lot of infrastructure development, although at really um, not quite inflict, inflicted prices. Uh, the economic performance has been quite bad, especially with the rising debt. And obviously, there was a supposedly last-minute attempt to try and improve the exchange rate. Uh, a lot of political bullying and undisciplined uh, senior officials, I think, then the electorate just grew quite satisfied, dissatisfied uh, with the government. So we saw quite a very high um, turn out for, 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 for voting. Uh, people were quite uh, very enthusiastic with some actually uh, unemployed graduates going to vote in their gowns just to show the satisfaction of their running uh, mate of Mr. Lungu because she had actually withdrawn uh, the allowance. So it, it comes at that background where definitely there is that uh, usual of voting out rather than voting in. Um, and, and that is making the ruling party quite uncomfortable. So the economy uh, has been one of the key points of campaigning. Uh, this year, Zambia was the first African country to default on debt uh, since the start of the pandemic. Uh, the economy is definitely going to be one of the key tipping points. Uh, what are people on the ground hoping for in terms of economic change? Well, the, the two things that might actually happen, um, either the new government is going to sink in the date that the incumbent government has actually sort of attracted, or they might thrive uh, because of the rising copper prices that have just sort of skyrocketed. So what the people on the ground are hoping for is not what is going around them, but it's what they're going to access themselves. So this is where we actually turn back to the um, economic principles of trickle-down effect. Uh, it is one thing to actually see everything else improving, but it's another thing to see your life improving. So it's a question of actually people being able to buy, or at least people being able to afford the most basic uh, aspects. We all know that uh, right now, uh, education, health, the basics have actually become a problem for the majority of the people. Uh, and that is what actually really needs to be to be addressed. So what the people are actually looking forward to is to see that whatever they have and whatever they claim actually works for them. When elections are disputed, election results are disputed uh, because of possible uh, unfree and unfair processes, one has to firstly look at media coverage, media access during campaigning, yes. voting and results. Uh, so the internet being shut down and social media being blocked is very worrying from that perspective. What has local media coverage and international media access been like during these election processes? Well, what happened is, uh, I mean, right now, I think the number one media in the world, any part of the world, is social media. Uh, and we should add to that is that uh, during the late uh, Michael Sutter's campaign, he had introduced what they call the PVT, uh, which actually sort of double checks uh, what the figures that are coming from the electorates. And those are the ones that have been going around. 
And as you like said already, only 15 of the 156 constituencies have actually been officially announced. Uh, even then, uh, the incumbent has 110,000, uh, and Mr. Ichilema has actually 170,000. So he's ahead. Now, what's going to happen here is that uh, the dispute, uh, like what happened in, 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 in Uganda, uh, there has to be a very clever way of actually reconciling if it actually goes the other way, because then there will be claims of actually a lot of rigging from the, from the ruling party. But surprisingly, that the ruling party is also claiming that actually the opposition party has rigged these elections. So it is quite a tense moment, and I just hope that everyone will come to the party and actually have the, um, are able to resolve this particular particular aspect. Now, the government has announced that those uh, election results should be released within 72 hours, in other words, three days of the elections having taken place. That happened on Thursday the 12th. Uh, if we see a delay, I mean, as we've seen now, today is day two, uh, and, and only a small amount of, of results have been released so far. What is likely to happen if we see a delay in releasing those results? Well, people are getting anxious. Uh, people are getting very dissatisfied. People are actually sort of not very happy with the Economic Commission of Zambia. But I want, what I want to, what I, I, I suspect, I, I think it's some, sometimes it's an unpreparedness uh, of what is actually going to happen. Chances are that both parties know what is actually going to happen, but they need time to actually prepare for either the transfer of power, or it could actually be uh, trying to resolve the issue that the results that may follow may not be to the people's expectations. So I suspect that uh, that is what is going on in the background. Uh, but within that, I think what they should be mindful is that it's actually the ordinary Zambian on the street who is actually expecting people uh, have actually not been sleeping, just hoping that the Economic uh, Commission, the Electoral Commission, is actually going to be uh, soon announcing this particular particular election results. And it better be quick, because uh, certainly if it does go into Monday, uh, then that is actually going to be really problematic. Well, we'll definitely be keeping an eye on the release of those election results in Zambia. Thank you very much for your time, Dr. Kambidima Watela from the School of Governance uh, of the University of its speaking to us there.